This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and I had a dream. Now, you can determine whether you believe it's prophetic or not. I'm really hoping it's not because it was a bad dream. Now, this dream was about me standing outside a beautiful sunny day. And I noticed way off in the distance, there were a few little plumes of smoke, like there had been some fires that broke out way at a distance. But then while I was looking, I noticed uh, a little fireball. It ended up being a little missile, a small bomb. Here was the thing. It wasn't blown or how can I say? It wasn't flown from outside of the country. This was a little bomb that obviously had been tucked right there in the city I was standing in right there in the same city, almost the same neighborhood, maybe two neighborhoods apart, maybe two cities apart. That's it. That thing only flew about 10 to 20 miles. And it was down and bam, it was exploding. A few buildings exploded way off at a distance. And I know the dream was in color because it struck me weird that the smoke was pure gray. There was no color in the smoke. It was a smoky, uh, grayish plume. There was no color, no bluish, no pinkish, no orange, no red, no, just pure gray. It was really weird. And what was so crazy was these people were walking on the street. And most of them were totally unaware of what was going on. They didn't even know we were under attack. They didn't even know the missiles. I didn't know it until I saw the one, the third or fourth one that flew in the air. One reason was because there was normal noise of a major thoroughfare of a, of a commercial district. But the other reason was strange. The bombs weren't putting off a lot of sound. What I noticed is I looked to my left and there were people looking up beyond where we were standing in the opposite direction. Now, when I saw the, the little missile, it left from the southern end of the city and it traveled northwest. Now, these people were looking northeast and I think they were seeing some type of an explosion because I remember the look on their face pretty much exemplifying how I felt when I saw the explosion and I realized we were under attack. And the crazy part was we were not under attack from outside of our country. We were under attack from right here within. Like somebody breaking in your house and then coming to attack you in your own house. These bombs were coming from the same city, landing in the same city or an adjacent city. That's the sad part. That's the scary part. How many satellite groups are out here in this country from other nations planning an in-house attack? How many? That's something to think about. It's really something to pray about. And I'm asking you to pray that God will cancel the assignment of the enemy. Rebuke the spirit of violence and murder in this country. Rebuke it. Bind it. The Bible says what we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And what we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Let's loose the angels. Loose all of God's, his warring angels. They need to go out and, and protect us. This is crazy. And we need to ask God to dispatch the angels as many as possible. Okay, that was my dream. Beautiful sunny day, but we're under attack. And we're under attack from within. Mm. Yeah, now what do you think about that one? That blew me away. I wasn't thinking, I mean, I woke up. I had dreams about my husband. I had all kind of little family dreams and then all of a sudden that. That's crazy. Okay, anyway, God bless you guys, and please pray. We need to shut all this mess down.